Kukurea down the line. Little flick in field is good. It's McAllister. He's got Veltman in support and uses him. Veltman whips it across. It's nodded down. It's a real chance for McAllister. What a start. A brilliant goal. Alexis McAllister starts Albion's new year with a bang. It was a brilliant move. McAllister starting it, rolling it out to Veltman. First time cross, that will be looked at as Morpay nudged it on and McAllister rolled it calmly underneath Pickford to give Albion the lead. Let's hope there's no VAR call for offside. It looked tight from Veltman's first time cross. Basuma, a bit of space to run into for Yves Basuma. More than a bit of space, Basuma. Is he going to go all the way? It's deflected and out for a corner. Godfrey at the end. And Alan getting back, just doing enough. In goes the corner. Flicked on by Mwepu. Damn burn, 2-0. It's a perfect start to 2022 for the Seagulls. They lead 2-0 at Goodison Park with Dan Burns' first of the season. Well, once again, they made it look so, so easy. It's the Albion fans who were singing because Mwepu's flick found Dan Burns unmarked. Gordon cuts it back, falls to Alan. Oh, they've made a mess of this. Gray, brilliant block from Sanchez was needed. And then a little nudge off the ball. Everton won. Well, a free kick or a penalty. I'm sure VAR will have a little look at this nudge from Wepu. John Brooks is going over, has been asked to go over. It is a penalty for the chance for Dominic Calvert-Lewin, whose last goal was a penalty at the Amex back in August, and he steps up against Robert Sanchez. Oh, he's missed it. He has missed it. A bad, bad miss from Calvert-Lewin. Went for the top corner, and it just grazed the top of the crossbar. Sanchez went the right way. Not sure he would have got to it. Alan does well to get it to Gordon, up against Kukurea. Kenny in support, Gordon comes in field. Thinks about the strike, gets the strike! And Everton halved the deficit. Seven minutes into the second half. Huge bit of misfortune. Gordon has been Everton's best player. Not sure his initial strike was troubling Sanchez, but the deflection off Lalana took it beyond Sanchez. And it's 2-1, game on. Great flick, through the middle, it's Morpé. He's got Mwepu in support, Morpé, great challenge. Dan Burns won it back. Now it's Trossard, Morpé's in the middle. Albion looking to restore their two-goal cushion. It's flicked down, it's McAllister! They have restored their two-goal cushion. Spectacular from Alexis McAllister. His second of the game, Albion's third, order restored. Just when they needed it most. Look at this from Trossard, little look up. Doesn't rush the cross, finds the pass. Great touch from Wepu, his second assist of the game, and then a rocket from McAllister. Gordon. Looking to make things happen again for the hosts. Through it goes for Kenny. And across it goes and it's tucked in. Anthony Gordon again. 
Well, Everton refused to lie down. That's a great goal. And Anthony Gordon is single-handedly hauling Everton back into the game. And that's it, it's all over, and Albion have the perfect start to 2022 with their first ever win at Goodison Park. Damari Gray doing the taking of the free kick, just taking his time over it, and he lofts it in. Good ball as well, Calvert-Lewin could get there, he does, Sanchez doesn't, Calvert-Lewin knocks it back to Iwobi, Iwobi shoots, and that is a fine stop from Sanchez. Low to his left to repel Iwobi's effort. Calvert-Lewin did well to retrieve it and cut it back for Iwobi, whose shot wasn't a bad one, and Sanchez plunged low to his left to save it. Macedo, great ball. Mitoma, he could be in here. Mitoma, lovely swivel. Mitoma scores, of course he does. A knee slide to the fans. How do you stop Kaoru Matoma? Premier League defences as yet have no answers. This was a thing of beauty. Caicedo with a great ball. Patterson misjudging it. And in step Matoma. He made it look so easy. One touch to get it right out of his feet. Then the feint. And a finish beyond Pickford and the despairing dive of the defender on the line. Tarkovsky through the legs, into the net. Albion lead at Goodison Park. Here's Gray. Gray gets it across. March levers him off the ball. Excellent work from March. Now Estepinian. And he'll take some stopping once he gets in full flight. Estepinian. He's got Mitoma to his left. Here's the real threat. Mitoma into the area, Mitoma across, there's the strike off the post from Ferguson. Oh, Evan Ferguson close to adding to his goal against Arsenal. Great work from Estepinian, then Mitoma, Evan Ferguson just sitting off the defender. That shows a predator's instincts, just to swivel and hit first time. Pickford, I think, was beaten. I say, though, there's the switch. Here's Matoma. The first time in the half, really. Seeing Matoma on the ball. Good looking ball into Sarmiento. Big chance for Sarmiento. Sarmiento, Ferguson must score. Does score. Albion have a new goal scoring hero, Evan Ferguson. An emotional reaction on the bench. They're loving what they're seeing as are the Albion fans, Evan Ferguson coming of age in the Premier League, two in two now for the young Irish striker. That one was tight with offside, but he looked on. Sarmiento, finds space, poor challenge, cuts it back, and Ferguson showing his predatory instincts. He's there. Where exactly where he needed to be, just to guide it in. 2-0 to the Albion. Great work from Sarmiento. Teases Tarkovsky and Ferguson with acres of space. Look at what it means to the young man. Brighton know all about him. There's Sarmiento. Here's Ferguson. Ferguson lining another one up, comes to March, March, infield he comes, Solly March composes himself and rolls it in, easy as you like, Albion lead by three, and it's Solly March again. He scored a screamer at Southampton, that, an entirely different type of goal. Look at this, the touchdown, Ferguson thought about hitting it, rolled it to March, infield he came, he sat a couple of players down and then just curled it into the open space. Pickford didn't even dive. Nothing he could do, nothing Everton can do. Albion, too quick, 
too good and 3-0 up at Goodison Park. And there's Roberto De Zerbi's reaction. He absolutely loves it. McNeil with the kick. Oh, it's too long. Hester Pinyan too strong. Oh, and then a misplaced pass and Gross could be in for four. Pascal Gross finds his feet. Gross, can he make it four? It's a wonderful finish. Pascal Gross embarrasses Everton on their home turf. Everton arguing amongst themselves. That was exquisite from Gross. It's a free kick to Everton. It's a poor kick. Esther Pinian wants it more. And then look at this pass from Idrissa Garner Gay. So sloppy. Gross took a moment to find his feet, but once he did, the finish is sublime. So much time, so much space. Pickford retreating. Gross thought about it and chose exactly the right option. It's three goals in six minutes for Albion to lead by four. Three minutes to be added. It's a small mercy for Everton. They wanted to see as little time as possible as Lamptey goes beyond his man. He was surely fouled. Not so, says the referee. Good ball from Sims. Iwobi. Oh, he gets to it. He's brought down and Everton have the opportunity to score a consolation goal late in the day here. Esther Pinyan. Trying to shepherd it back. Iwobi got there and Sanchez didn't. Penalty, the obvious result. Can he preserve a clean sheet? Up steps Gray and he drives it in. Everton pull one back. It won't matter a jot to the end result, but it gives Everton just that little boost that they've managed to breach the Brighton defence. And there's the final whistle. The boos ring out at Goodison, but this Albion side continue to make history. It's the first time ever that they've won three consecutive top flight away games, and they did it in style.